quite a few of you guys had been asking me if I had forgotten about my favorite eye brushes video and I haven't. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and film that video for you guys today. I am waiting on another um, order from Sephora before I do like this for VIB haul video. I know those are going up like crazy on the tube which they're totally fun to watch. <laughs> it can't beat a Sephora sale but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to try to keep some form of order I guess in this video because I can talk about brushes for a while. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the handful of brushes that I use um, on my eyes currently like the ones that I just continually been have been using for probably at least a good month straight if not longer so I'm gonna go ahead with those ones and then I'm gonna go into some other brushes that I have that are great that may I can compare to some of the other brushes that I have that might benefit you guys for your eye shape because you know we all have different eye shapes and stuff like that so maybe that'll better help you better decide which ones would suit you <laughs> so to start off with I have got this handful of brushes right here um, these are all the brushes that I need to do an eye look. Both my um, brows and shadow and liner are these guys right here. I can I can survive with these guys. <laughs> and these are the ones that I have been using fairly consistently um, for quite a while. So let's just get into it and I'll tell you how I use them and stuff like that and then I'll jump into the other brushes. I might as well start off with the order that I use them I guess when I'm doing an eye look. So this first brush is the Wayne Goss number 18 brush. It is a flat shader brush and it looks like that right there. This is a goat hair brush and out of all of the goat hair brushes that I have these brown bristled Wayne Goss brushes are the softest that I have ever felt. <laughs> the reason why I prefer a goat haired brush sometimes depending on you know what I'm using it for is goat hair is going to pick up um, it's going to pick up more product and it's also going to blend out product um, faster because it's not as um, airy or soft feeling as like a squirrel brush. Um, so this is what I use to pack on color on my lid. I use this brush um, for like I think what do I have on? I think I have three, two, maybe I have two sh shades on my lid today. So I, I pack it on and I'll just dust it off and pack the other one on. I use this brush for the whole lid and then also um, when I'm doing the lid I can turn it on the side here because I have just a little um, I have pretty hooded eyes and this little space right here I'll turn it on the, the edge and I can get right in that inner part of the lid right there so that is what I use the Goss number 18 brush for. The next brush is the Chikohoto GS9 brush. I love this brush. I really really love this brush. <laughs> this is a squirrel bristle brush and this is the one that's got the this has got a longer handle than the Goss and a lot of my Hakuhoda brushes. Um, I don't mind the longer handle and I think it's a really pretty brush. Um, however, I've noticed because I do have to be so close <laughs> to a mirror to be able to see when I'm doing my eyes, um, sometimes this here will knock into my mirror. So that's just something I noticed. So I kind of have to hold it edited, depending on how far I am from, from the mirror, of course. But that's just something to make note of if you really like to be close up to the mirror. This is a longer handled brush. <laughs> but it is awesome. I use it every day. Um, it is a little bit smaller. Here, I'll show you in size comparison to the Goss 18 and then like I said the Goss 18 is goat and then the GSN uh, 9 is a squirrel brush it's super super soft and I like that it is pinched like that right there what I use this for is I'll pick up that darker color that I like to put through the crease and put it right on this outer portion and then I'll bring it um, through the crease and then it's it's got a, a nice enough point for me. I don't like to stick tape on my face. It, it gives a nice little edge to the outer portion of my eyeshadow and then I can bring it in. That's what I uh, typically use this brush right here for. Um, if, I, if I get a bigger one sometimes I can it'll because uh, my eyes are so they're they're really hooded. Some people have said you don't have hooded eyes but I have a really convex hooded eye <laughs> that drops down. There's a lot of real estate in the crack of my eye but anyway this this smaller brush I found um, prevents me from bringing up that uh, dark color too far which I just really really love this this little guy right here. Again that is the Chikohoto GSN 9 right there. These next two brushes I use for blending out like the crease area. Um, I say crease but like the GSN 9 there is really goes into the crease but because I've got <laughs> Um, because there's so much of this um, this uh, skin here, like oftentimes I end up working on that that fold of the skin. You know, I'm not for me to be able to even see like my actual brow 
bone inside there to have a socket. I mean, I gotta tilt my head back really far and get it real taut, and then just barely you can see my eyebrow bone. <laughs> just barely. So I don't really have a, a bone, like a you know how some people can just lay that little crease brush right in that socket and work that socket? I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have a nice outer socket. So um, typically these are these brushes I use for blending kind of, it's right above the fold of my eye, I guess. I use the GSN-9 in, in the crack, <laughs> and I use these right above it because I'm working on kind of that folded skin, if I'm making any sense. Um, anyway, this first one is the Wayne Goss number 19 brush, and this is that really, really super soft brown goat hair um, that I was talking about, and the one next to it is the Hakuhodo, uh J5533 brush. Um, I like this one is pointed and this one right here which is what is awesome about this brush is they're I mean they're kind of about the same size the Hakuhodo one is a little bit fluffier but you'll notice the top of that Hakuhodo brush is flat so on my particular eyes like I use this one kind of a little bit in front of that uh, crease right up in here and then this one goes more um, a little bit higher on that skin. This brush will blend over a larger surface area because my, my hood is like this. So this J5533 brush from Hakuhodo is amazing. I love it because it is flat like that. It just, it's so much less having to blend um, that area because of the way that my, my eyes are formed. So anyways, um, the J5533 brush isn't quite as soft as the Goss 19 though. Still super, super soft, but not as soft as the Goss brush, but I absolutely love both of these. So that's the uh, Goss 19, and this one is the Hakuhodo J5533 brush. Love them. This next brush is a Chikohodo GSN 7 brush. It is a fairly large, fluffy paddle style brush. This is one that I've been currently using, so you can see it's dirty and a little fluffed out. So what I use this for is packing uh, color underneath the brow bone, and then after I blend up that crease color kind of into that, um, sometimes the edges might not be as soft as I would like them, so I just, I don't usually pick up any more product, but um, I just run this through that to, um, to soften out the edges of it. But this is a great brush. This is also a squirrel brush right here. So that is the Chikohoto GSN 7, and I love this guy. This next brush is the Chikohoto GSN 13 brush. It is an angled brush that I love to use for my brows. Um, it's it's a kind of a perfect little eyebrow brush. Um, it is a natural bristle, bristle brush, but it also works really great with um, powder and cream. I like it for both of those things. Um, out of I have a couple different brow brushes that I'm going to show you, but out of all of them, if like I could only have one, <laughs> it would be this guy right here. Um, it's not as soft as like squirrel or goat. It's got it's a little bit um, has some structure to it, so you can really get them brows in shape if you need to. So I love that guy. And then this other one is this is a love brush <laughs> that I spent like two hours looking for before I started filming this. I could not find it. I was like going to have to run over to my mom's house. To, to steal hers because I gave her one <laughs> and it's her favorite liner brush as well um, but anyway I found it I was totally blaming Phoebe that she you know took off with it but I found it <laughs> anyway um, this is the Hakuhodo Pro Series 3-0 PH um, and the H in this means it's it's hard these particular brushes come in um, a soft version and then I think there's a middle of the road uh, medium type of version as well um, but this is what it looks like and this is a synthetic brush they're not too expensive either um, they're made out of uh, polyester I believe and it's got it's got just a nice amount of structure and the thing I don't know how many liner brushes I have purchased over the years trying to find one that stays at a point, you know, when you're you're doing your liner and you want to bring it out and you want that point with, with nice ease. <laughs> this guy does it for you. Um, I've ventured into, like, the craft sections at certain stores because people have said uh, liner brushes for painting and stuff like that. Uh, Lowell, Lowell Cornell. I have some of those. They don't compare to this. This thing is awesome. Because I do paint, by the way. Just a total side note. So I used to you know, buy paint brushes at the store for a particular painting, and I would steal makeup brushes <laughs> uh, for painting. Uh, this is a great brush. I have been using it nonstop since I bought it, which was probably, um, I've had this brush for over a month, and I didn't realize, but when I did my uh, makeup show haul, I bought another one of these, 
it was the same one. <laughs> so I, that's the one I gave to my mom in any event. But this this is great. She loves it. I love it. It's awesome. Again, the Hakuhodo Pro Series 3-0PH. Oh, oh, that's some tiny writing, but hopefully you guys can see it. It is in the artist section of the website, I believe. So those brushes have kind of been my ride or dies for quite some time. I, I love them. I can do a full eye area inside orbitable and look with those. <laughs> um, but I guess I should mention this one as well. This is the Wayne Goss number 8 brush. I've kind of been toying around with a little bit of color underneath the lash line just on that outer corner. A lot of people are wondering wonder why I don't really, um, you know, smoke out my lower lash line. It's kind of curved and if I were to, you know, start bringing color here in order to get the overall look of my face, um, you know, an up close eye shot would be super cute and super pretty, but when I when I, when you back up that camera, <laughs> it's gonna throw the proportions of my face off. It's gonna make my eyes look a little bit more downturned and round as opposed to further apart and up, like cat like. And I'm gonna have to put on more makeup or more eyeshadow and more stuff on this outer port part of my eye if I smoke out the lower lash line to continue to get that lifted look. <laughs> that's that's a anyway. Um I just sometimes Every once in a while, I'll put a dash of color very, very thin on the outermost part of this corner right here. Like, I've got a little tiny bit of purple smooshed into the lashes. Um, and I like to use this Wayne Goss number 8 brush for that. Uh, it's a super, super soft goat brush. Fine as all get out. <laughs> so that's what I like to use for that. And it just smushes that color right in there nicely without being too much. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple other brushes that I have that are similar to the ones that are in my daily use right now um, that I also love that are great brushes but they're ever so slightly a different shape. So these first three I'm going to compare to the Goss 18. So here's the Goss 18 brush that I mentioned earlier. Um, this guy right here is a Hakuhodo BJ004G brush and it is also a, it's a white goat brush. Um, it's pretty soft, uh, I'm not going to lie, it feels almost as, as soft as the, the Goss brush there. So they're very similar. The Hakuhodo one right here is ever so slightly um, finer than the Goss one, but they're pretty darn close. And then this one here was a brush that I was reaching for a load, and I didn't really want to mention it um, because it was in a holiday set. It's a Chikahodo one that came in the Noel set. It's a blue brush like this, but I recently purchased... Um, a brush from Chikohodo's Tetsuyu Takamori collection, which uh, Beautylicious got it, and then also uh, Visage USA has these brushes. Um, and it's the T7 brush, and it's the same brush that's in the Noel collection. So I was yeah, ever so slightly longer, but pretty doggone close. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. See, I, I use this one uh, quite a bit as well. So this is the uh, Chikohodo, it's the by Tetsuyu Takamori T7 brush. And these are both goat hair brushes as well, right there. So I, I want you guys to be able to see this here. That is what it says on the handle. And this is my first brush from this line. I'm contemplating getting the collection, <laughs> um, but I wanted to try one to see, to see if I liked it. And it's a very, very nice brush. So um, these are all really great little brushes here. These next two brushes I'm going to compare to the Chikuhodo GSN 7 brush, which I love. This first one is the Chikuhodo G... Oh no, the Chikuhodo Z5 brush. It's from their Z collection. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is a slightly smaller and uh, it's about the same width. But it's shorter and uh, a little bit, it's just a little bit smaller, but it serves, um, I was using this quite a bit before I had, I had purchased br these brushes right here. So that is the Z5 right there. And these are both squirrel brushes as well. And then this other one, which I had to look up <laughs> on the Hakuhodo website because this one doesn't have the name printed on it. This is one of the Hakuhodo Kokutan eyeshadow brushes. And this one is the... Um, Kokuton eyeshadow brush MLL brush. So this one is a thinner than either of these two and it's uh let's see here. Just ever so slightly more short than the Chikahoto GSN7. So there they are next to each other right there. You've got the GSN7, the Kokuton brush MLL and then this one over here is the Chikahoto Z5 brush. But um, all very similar, all uh, squirrel brushes right there. Super soft, 
super awesome. <laughs> Before I had gotten the um, fabulous Hakuhoto liner brush, uh, I was using this Sephora Professional Pointed Eyeliner number 17. And they, this is from the older discontinued line. I cannot find another brush that Sephora makes that's this fine. But I had used this for a very, very long time up until I just got these guys. Which I do prefer the, the Hakuhoto one over this one. But this one is really great as well. And I guess I'm mentioning it because I did see it. I got... <laughs> I got one on clearance and it was like 37 cents or something like that in the Sephora Inside JCPenney's. You might be able to find them. They might be on eBay. It's the Sephora Eyeliner seven, Pointed Liner 17. One of the more fine eyeliner brushes I have been able to find out there. So that is what that guy looks like. It's pretty similar. Uh, I want to find a Hakuhoto one that's the same length as the Sephora one. So the Sephora one is right here. This middle one is the Hakuhoto one I mentioned earlier. So you can see the Sephora one is just a little bit longer and I'd like to find a Hakuhoto one that's this length right here because I find, I do love this one very very much but I wish it was ever so slightly longer. And then this one over here is also a Hakuhoto brush. It is the um, Pro Series Zero PH. So you can see it's quite a bit longer than the other two. And I want one, I want a Hakuhoto one that's in between these guys right here. Um, I used this one today because I could not find that one. but. Uh, they work, they work great nonetheless. This one here, it'll kind of have you do a little bit longer elongated wing because it is slightly longer. But it does a really great job and I love I love all three of these brushes right here. So Sephora Pointed Liner 17, the Hakuhoto P 3-0PH and then the Hakuhoto Pro Series 0PH right there. So before I had the Chikuhoto GSN 9 brush, um, I was using the Wayne Goss number six brush brush <laughs> brush religiously is what I use and um, this is them compared to each other so the Goss one is slightly longer um, and a little bit fluffier than the GSN nine well because it's longer so it'll be a little bit fluffier at the end um, but I love I absolutely love the six brush so my GSN nine has kind of replaced my Goss number six um, again when I'm comparing these brushes the quality of all of them is great it just depends on the function you know of, of what you're going to use and how you're going to apply shadow on your own eyes you know in a personal preference type of thing but the quality of these is great so hopefully these comparisons are helping you guys out <laughs> so um, anyways that is the GSN 7 right here from Chikuhoto and then here's the Wayne Goss number 6 brush both great brushes and then the Hakuhoto version of the Wayne Goss which uh, I'm pretty sure 99% <laughs> sure you'll see here in a minute um, that uh, Hakuhoto makes Wayne Goss brushes so here you have the Wayne Goss number 6 and here is the Hakuhoto it is the um, this one here doesn't have the numbers on it they're currently getting the numbers on their brushes even though they rub off <laughs> Um, this one is the G5523 brush right here. They are essentially, they're both squirrel, um, they're essentially the same exact brush right here. And you can see the handles, the ferrules, everything about this brush is like the same. <laughs> so I'm trying to give you guys a good shot here. So there is the Wayne Goss number six, and this one is the Hakuhoto G5523 brush. And then if you want a goat hair version of this exact brush right here, because um, your goat is going to blend out your product a little bit more, and it's not it's got a little bit more structure than your squirrel hair does, um, the Hakuhoto J5523 brush is your guy. So I'll show you guys these next to each other. They're, what is the MAC brush? 217-ish two, brush? These are great brushes. Far surpass the MAC brush though, of course. So that is the J5523 brush right there. And it is a goat brush and these other two are squirrel. So these next ones I'm going to compare to the Goss number 19 brush, which is that uh, super soft brown goat haired brush. Um, the Hakuhoto version of that brush, which um, it's not as soft as the Goss one, but it's still a great brush. I, and it might be ever so slightly fluffier. It's the um, BJ142. So the white one is the Hakuhoto BJ142. And then this is the Goss number 19 brush. So you can see they are pretty, pretty similar. They're both great brushes. I do use my Goss 19 more though. I think it, um, I think it's slightly softer, but still, you know, serves that 
uh, blending capabilities of goat hair so I really love that and then if you want an even softer brush that's similar to those ones the Hakuhodo there's no number on here it's the Hakuhodo G5533 brush that's what it is the Hakuhodo G5533 brush and this is um, very similar to the Goss 19 brush except for this brush here is uh, squirrel so it's going to be softer right there so these two are goat and this guy's your squirrel right there two other brushes that are awesome um, that are kind of that domed blender like those previous three I just showed you um, which are also great in their goat hair uh, are the J146 brush which is slightly smaller than the Goss 19 and then the J5522 brush it's the J5522 <laughs> brush right here which is ever so slightly larger than the Goss number 19 brush and these two are both goat hair so um, let's compare these right here whoops these are the three that I just showed you and then these are the smaller ones right here geez I hope you guys can see <laughs> so the little guy right here is the one J146 and the larger one over here is the J5522 brush right there so there are those ones some other great eyebrow brushes that I have are the Sephora Pro Brow number 20 brush. This is an awesome brow brush as well. It's slightly stiffer than the uh, Chiku Hodo number 13 and a little bit larger. So there's the Chiku Hodo GSN 13 brush right here and this is the Sephora Pro uh, number 20 brow brush right here. And then I also have the Hakuhodo B524 brush. This is a large brow brush, but the reason I'm mentioning it is um, if you're in a hurry, <laughs> this brush and some powder can get you a real quick brow, and um, it's going to do it pretty fast and precise for the most part. So I thought it's worth a mention, but you're going to see how much larger this, I, I believe it's a badger brush, um, how much larger it is than these other two. Um, I, I would only recommend this one here if you have got some brow hairs to work with in the first place. Um, if you're really, really, really sparse on the brows or, you know, you, you don't have a tail or something like that, this is probably going to end up taking you longer <laughs> as opposed to faster. So I recommend this for um, slightly fuller brows, this guy right here, but it is a good one for uh, a quick brow. And then the other one that I have here is a Makeup Forever brush. I haven't had this one for too long, but I really like it. It's the 274 brush and it's from their new Makeup Forever line. It's got the spoolie on one end here and then the brush on the other and it is a um, it's the stiffest out of all the brow brushes that I showed you and it is a synthetic brush as well but it's it's tiny and it's I find that it's good for um, more gel or pomade or cream at eyebrow type products it's really really good for that it's good for powder as well but because it's because it's so stiff it's really going to get that work that product into the brow um, so I like that about it but let, let's let me show you guys the comparison you can see how much smaller it is than the uh, Chikahoto GSN 13 brush it's it's a good little brush and the spoolie on the end I do like that as well so that's the makeup forever 274 brush I know I mentioned quite a few higher end brushes so I did pull out the brushes that I use from time to time with cream products or I've also used these particular brushes um, a lot before I really got into um, the fancy pants uh, handmade Japanese brushes. <laughs> um, these here are two brushes from Real Techniques which I totally recommend Real Techniques. The um, they're super soft synthetics, but they're not so soft where they're not going to function properly and pick up product properly. They still have texture to the ends of the bristles, which um, makes them awesome. So I used to use these two brushes a ton, both for powder product, and I still use these. These are the two brushes that I reach for when I use like Tom Ford's Cream Shadow and Platinum, or if I use um, a glitter adhesive and put glitter on my lid or something, I use these two brushes. Um, but before... Um, I did use them a lot for shadow as well. So this is the Real Techniques Shading Brush. It's this little guy right here. This is great for packing on uh, precisely shadow on the lid. And then the other one here is the Base Shadow Brush right here. This is a good one for um, in the crease, underneath the brow. It's just a really versatile blending brush. And out of all of the Real Techniques eye brushes, these are the two that I have reached for the most, both in the past and currently um, for cream products right here. So Base Shadow Brush and Shading Brush from Real Techniques, I, I recommend them a lot. <laughs> and then these other two I used a ton 
in the past um and i still think that they're worth the money i mean they're very very inexpensive i think i paid a dollar fifty for them both um when i got like the coupon for fifty percent off the elf website um which is so affordable but these are both synthetics as well and um i use these a lot back in the day i still use the real technique ones but i don't reach for these ones um quite as often so this is the elf small angled brush and both of these are synthetic and this one here is the elf contour brush I used to use this one uh, precisely through the crease right here and then um, I used to use this guy here to sharpen up that shadow on the outer portion because uh, like the base shadow brush from Real Techniques wasn't sharp enough like that GSN, um, like the GSN 9 brush was so I would use an angled brush to sharpen that up because the, the base shadow was too fluffy for that. Now I have a brush that does that. So <laughs> so that's what these look like right here. Very inexpensive, very great. I will show you. Um, these, this is what the e.l.f. brushes do. I just This just happened to this brush here. Um, I've had a lot of e.l.f. brushes do this. They come off, the uh, the ferrule comes off the handle. And I've heard a couple people say they just throw them away. And don't throw them away, man. Get, get a little bit of super glue. And I recommend putting the glue inside the barrel of the ferrule first. Like, just cir circular around it. And then pop the um, handle right back in. And every, whenever I have an e.l.f. brush do that and I super glue it I never have I never have the handle come off again after that so side note <laughs> just one other brush to mention here uh, the Wayne Goss number 16 brush it is a really chubby little brush um, but because it's so large it kind of functions like the J5533 brush that I talked about earlier with the flat top because it's so large so every once in a while and it's so soft like like I said these brown haired goat Goss brushes softest goat brushes ever. I, I really love them. But what I'd use this for is kind of that same situation through here because it touches more more surface skin for blending as opposed to just a little bit because of the uh, convex nature of my hooded lid. <laughs> so anyway, just to, just to compare them, I guess, um, they totally look like different brushes, but because this one's so large, it's still pointed, but it, it's a larger pointed, so it covers more surface area. They kind of function the same, so um, yeah. So those are all the brushes that I'm going to talk about. Again, that first batch of brushes that I showed you guys are the ones that I'm currently using nonstop. They're like, I love them. I love those, I can do a whole eye look. That's probably a lot of brushes for some people <laughs> now that I think about it, but um, I love them. I love all the brushes that I mentioned. Hopefully you guys were able to take something from that. You know, if you were looking for a really, you know, nice high quality eye brush that, you know, would would work for your eye shape because I know we don't all have the same eye shape so hopefully that was helpful and you guys enjoyed it <laughs> so anyway um thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later bye